What's up guys? It's Lainey, also known as Life of Lainey on YouTube, and I'm taking over the Slick Living Snapchat today, so it's about to be lit. Really quick about me, as I said, I'm a YouTuber, so I do like lifestyle and fashion and beauty videos, but also just like random videos documenting my college life um, or something in my eye. Despite being like a beauty YouTuber or whatever, my wings are never even, and it's tragic. So I'm 21 years old. I started my YouTube channel when I was like 17, and I was so embarrassed. Like, I didn't want to tell anybody. I had like a double life. I was like really self-conscious about it. Senior year, my friend texted me and was like, oh, you have a YouTube channel. And I was like, in the end, it was completely fine. Everyone was very supportive. So long story short, don't be afraid to like share your passions and dreams with people. Like just do the shit. For that, I'm also really interested in like graphic design and videography and photography. So I have a lot of different interests, but most of that is like on the channel. Enough about that. I'm currently in New York City for the summer because I'm interning for The Fader, which I'm extremely excited about. It's the perfect internship for me. I love music and entertainment. My wonderful friend from high school actually let me stay in her apartment this summer. Look at this view. So if you guys have any questions at all while I'm doing this takeover, feel free to snap me and I will gladly answer them. We can do a little Q&A session. Phone was dying, but somebody just asked me if Shar is my sister, and she is my sister. If you can't tell, people always think we're twins, but we're not. While these questions are coming in, let me just vent to you guys for a second about my day. I went to a happy hour yesterday, paid like $23. I'm gonna check my bank account today. Tell me why this restaurant charged me $92. I don't open until 5 p.m. every day, so I had to wait the whole day, pissed, waiting to call them. I called them. The guy what happens and he just says oh well i'll just write it down and i was like i don't know if you just heard me but i said 92 dollars. i didn't say 19 i didn't say nine i said don't worry we'll take care of it so i'm sitting here waiting for them to take care of it let me take a second and stop complaining and answer some questions so i was asked like how did i approach youtube what did i expect from it is anything surprising to me etc when I was like 17 I was looking up a product review on like some makeup item that I wanted um, and a YouTube review came up of this girl reviewing the makeup product I literally was just like I can do this like people upload reviews of products on the internet and this is, seems easy the next day like I grabbed my little webcam on my computer my weak ass PC no okay PCs aren't weak but mine was I think I did, my first video was like a d everyday makeup routine or whatever. I really didn't even wear makeup. I forced myself to just so I could upload them to YouTube. Obviously, I really grew to like it and I really started liking makeup and fashion and beauty and all that kind of stuff and giving advice um, and started growing a following and kept going. Pretty much how I got to where I am today, you just got to keep posting videos and keep, you know, encouraging yourself because it takes a while to get views. What really surprised me was that I had no idea you can make hella money off of YouTube. Like, people make a living off of YouTube. Do I love, you know, making videos and talking to my subscribers and building up my brand, but it's also actually a way to support myself, especially through college. It's amazing. It's a blessing. The question I'm seeing is, have you ever thought about how long you plan on being on YouTube? And that's a good question. I actually haven't. I was a major and I'm interested in like entertainment broadcast journalism. So I think once I reach my first goal of being on TV in an actual network, I'll probably slow down my YouTube life just because there probably is no point. I mean, I could still vlog behind the scenes. I think I'll still do that so people can still get to know me. Um, somebody asked me if I've ever had moments where I wasn't making money. Girl, there are still moments where it gets dry. It would not depend on YouTube being your main source of income unless you have like over maybe 500,000 to a million followers. I said I was charged $92 today, so, you know, that still hurts. I decided to chill outside for a little bit. Here's the sunset. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Hey. I just figured out what I really, truly wanted to eat for dinner. And it's closed. Sophie's Cuisine, it's a chain. It is so good. They got the chicken and the rice and the beans and it's just so much food for a little price. Hercules asked um, like how does getting paid on YouTube work and you have to sign anything and basically once you start growing a network will contact you for example I'm currently partnered with style hall which is like the leading network for fashion and beauty on YouTube and then they pay you like a certain amount per 1,000 views and companies can also contact you too so I've worked with fashion Nova bobble bar um, Sigma beauty and then they also pay you too network that you're partnered with will pay you monthly and then for companies it's just like they come and go um, and they pay you after you post a video review of their product. For those of you who have a large following on like Instagram or any social media there's a site called Famebit where you can partner with companies and they'll pay you to like review and post their stuff. 
I forgot all about this edible arrangement that somebody sent me yesterday. Actually, my best friend sent it to me. About to tear this up. Thank you. Change my shirt to something more comfortable, but I got a question about if I ever feel discouraged on YouTube. And I actually do sometimes because as I said, I'm a college student, so I really don't even have that much time to make consistent videos. And I always like compare myself to other people who do. So there are times where my channel growth isn't where I want it to be because I know like if I didn't have classes all the time, I would grow a lot faster like other people who aren't in class. But it is about to be my senior year of college. And I think once I graduate, I'll have a ton more time to actually dedicate to YouTube besides trying to find a job. But with that being said, I still am really proud of where I am today and how far I've come with juggling school, juggling class, and a social life. It's actually way harder than people think it is, and it takes a ton of time. I'm not saying that YouTube is anything like working a 9-to-5 job or anything like that, but just in terms of editing and thinking of um, video content and making time, that's just like the hard part of it. So I got some more questions to answer, but <laughs> that was all in my face. Um, but I'm starving, so I'm about to eat really quickly, and then I'll come back and answer your guys' questions. questions any advice for broadcast journalism majors and my biggest piece of advice is to make sure you're well known within the school and make sure professors know who you are and that you've made an effort to involve yourself in the school and the programs and the internships and the scholarships that they have to offer and if they see that you're applying to these things like they will take notice and they will offer more things also really great to have a mentor luckily for me my freshman year a professor actually approached me to be their mentee because they saw something in me um, and she's helped me tremendously even if you're just close with one professor, like that alone is very helpful. Make sure to keep in contact with them and do things outside of just, you know, attending class. Next question is what school do I go to? And I go to George Washington University, also known as GW in DC. And my sister actually went to Howard, so I kind of got the best of both worlds and got to see her and go on both. In terms of how I landed an internship with the theater, I actually had a connection. That's like how you get internships these days, directly with John and Rob, who are the founders. Then my resume, did an interview, and was offered the internship. So make sure to have a very unique resume and also use your social media to your advantage. That's what companies are looking for now. Have a big following on social media and are comfortable with companies seeing your social media profiles. Put those numbers and all of those details into your resume. Like make it as detailed as possible. Numbers are huge. I'm going to bed soon because I have to wake up early. But thank you so much to everyone who asked questions. I hope you enjoyed this takeover and learned some stuff. Shout out to Slick Living TV and Cleo. Love you guys. You're the best. And lastly, just make sure to follow my Instagram at Life of Laney, my Twitter and YouTube, all Life of Laney. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. I hope you have a great night. Mwah!